Were you linked to? You were linked to the Jamaica job recently, right? Steve McLaren got it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I had a phone call from them. Yeah, and had a conversation with them. It didn't go much further than the conversation, but <laughs> I did have the I did have a conversation. Why didn't it go much further? I don't know. I think they must have went down the route of oh, Steve okay. or whatever. You know. Were you quite keen on it? I would have. I'm, I'm not desperate. That's the wrong word, but it would have might have suited me. You know, they've got a very very decent squad of players. They've got an outstanding chance now to qualify for the World Cup because obviously Mexico, Canada and the United States are all, they're all automatically in, so it opens up a few slots for them, mm. so they've got no ch a chance to qualify, and as I said, they've got a nucleus of a very decent squad of players. Uh, are you looking to get back into management as soon as I'm possible? I'm looking to do something, well, I'm, I'm, you know, it's been a long time, and, and, uh, and the longer you're out, I suppose, the more difficult it becomes, but I was determined to take a break for the first time in my career, really. Um, if something comes along now, where, why not? Would okay. be the answer. You know, after you've said that, the phone's going to. Well, you never keep know. Ringing. You never know. Benny, you talking of Arsenal, mm. uh, you obviously they're your team. Are you looking forward to that game tomorrow? Are you a little bit nervous, apprehensive? How are you feeling? Henry? Nah, not at all. I think Arsenal good shape. Uh, the squad seems to be all together as well. Good pre-season. Only lost to Liverpool, I think. So, no, I think they'll they'll build on the the positives from last year. They ran Man City the whole way. weren't obviously able to get it over the line, but. Another exciting season for Arsenal, for sure. I know you think they're going to fall off a cliff. I don't. No, I don't think. I don't think you're going to win it. You think they're going to win it. Uh, listen, I'm, that's probably more heart than head. My head tells me okay. Manchester City as it always does, but yeah. they'll run them close. Steve just nodded there on Manchester City. You well, fancy them for the title won, again? What, was he won six out of seven? Yeah. He's going to take some beating. That's yeah, for sure, isn't he? I mean, he, he's just a he's a serial winner. This fella, and. Um, and they always seem to do the right thing, don't they? What they lose a player, they get another one in, mm. and they just they, they roll along. They're a fantastic club at the moment. Uh, let's uh, let's turn our attention now to uh, one of Arsenal's former managers, Unai Emery, and Aston Villa, who are returning to the Champions League this season for the first time since they've been in UEFA's Premier Competition. That was way back in 1982, and earlier on in the week, Talksport Breakfast they were live from Aston Villa's training ground, and boss Unai Emery told Jeff Stelling. And Andy Townsend, it will be a, another competitive season. I am very proud of Aston Villa to be there together. And for the players, the same. But uh, still be in the Premier League, the first objective. Because uh, through the Premier League, we, we will have again the opportunity to play to, to play again uh, Europe. Of course, Champions League is uh, again the next year the objective we can have in our mind. We are not contender. We are not a standing contender to be there at the end of the season because we, we are more or less keeping the same situation, financial and, and sportive situation like last year. We changed some players, uh, of course, trying to, to be stronger. Steve, how impressed have you been with the job Unai Emery's done at, at Aston Villa? Well, I think you have to just sit back and give him a, an applaud. You applaud him, don't you? He's done fantastically well. I think he's, you know, he, did he have a harsh deal at Arsenal? Were they a bit too hasty? Arteta's done a great job replacing him, but he's been a top, top manager, and you can see that in him, can't you? And and to be fair, again, Aston Villa have, you know, they've brought some really good players in. They've made some big changes this season. It'll be interesting to see how they go. Do you think he's one of the best managers in the Premier League? I think I think he I think he has to be with his pedigree and what he's done and what he's achieved. And again, he's come here and dusted himself down after after Arsenal, and he was probably harshly treated. I would have thought, but he's come back and um, and shown what a very very good manager he is. How far can he take Aston Villa in both the Premier League and the Champions League? Do you well, think? It, it's amazing. It's in, in three four years since you know I've left, you know. Aston Villa, when I took over, had won something like four games in 54. I mean, they were in a complete and utter for a club of the size of Aston Villa. Thankfully, now they've got an ownership which wants the club to be run the right way. They've quietly gone about it. In the last four or five years, you have to applaud everybody upstairs and make it work and the appointment of Emery. And then with the power to then bring in his own sporting director... It just shows you uh, the, 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 the way they're going forward and uh, you have to applaud them. They've done a fantastic job, all of them. Mm. That, it's that difficult second season, if you like, isn't it? Because last year, no one really expected them to get top four. No. And now fans will be expecting more of the same and you've got European football as well. How do you juggle that? Oh, it's, is it all about squad depth? Handling expectation, squad depth, of course. Can they stay the course? When you're playing in Europe and you're in the Champions League, it's very difficult then to go on on the on the following weekend it's a real tall order but 
it's interesting to see how they've done. They've strengthened their squad. They've let a couple of players, big players in the team go, mm. especially the midfield player, the defensive midfield yeah. player. Mm. He's, he, he's going to take some shifting, but um, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Do you think it will help them that, because Andy said there about juggling Europe and domestic football, they were in Europe, of course, last year. So do you think they'll, they'll use that experience and Unai Emery is a master of European football to kind of balance the squad? I think they'll have to. I think if you're going to make a tilt on it, you have to balance the squad. And that's why they've made the changes that they have to have that de strength and depth. They've, they've got a really good squad when you look at it on paper and they're going to need to be. When you're challenging on all fronts, you need a squad of players to be able to, to step in and, and perform. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.